What is up, man? NFL 25 Gamers. In today's video, we're going to be displaying our short yardage defense uh, for our fourth down, our third down is short, uh, out of our 4-300 defense here in the uh, in the Miami or the Oakland playbook. And uh, our, our short yardage defense is all based around this play mid blitz, and this is only going to be found in the two playbooks I gave you. Uh, or if you just want to make a custom book, you can do that as well. Uh, but we're going to show you kind of some typical stuff that guys are going to want to do um, in short yardage situations. Um, a lot of people like to do the zone weak. And the mid blitz is just a very good play in general. Um, we're going to keep everything looking the same. So we're going to take Nelson here and put him into uh, the middle over the center here. Now what I like to do, and this is um, obviously you want a baseline line as, as well. But one extra thing I really like to do with Kirkpatrick is I like to drop him into a flat zone. Now remember, this is a short yardage specific play uh, only for that situation. So third and two, fourth and two, etc. Really like to drop him into the flat zone. We're gambling heavy on this play, but we could potentially get a high risk, high reward on fourth and short and uh, kind of lock up some of his favorite re reads. Another thing I like to do is I take Ilka here, or excuse me, I'll take Nelson here and I'll read deep blue him. So that he'll kind of go out to the to kind of fan out, and so the reason this is significant is because if they if they do happen to like say they run like a streak to, to Colson, we're not gonna get you know phenomenally killed. We're gonna have a guy in the area, and we're gonna try to swat or whatever. But again, just note that that is a potential problem with this defense. But again, on all of our other plays, we have, you know, three deep or whatever. So that's why this specific play, we take the risk. Okay. Um, one other adjustment I'll do probably is I'll probably re-blitz Pico here. And it uh, just gives me better run defense. And it, you see the main kind of vulnerability to this defense is off tackle left. Um, and that is why... Um, you know, if you think they're going to run, you might just consider just re-blitz Johnson and then take Ilka and kind of drop him into a hook zone. And now this is really risky, but again, it's a little bit better against the run. Okay, so those are just a couple of notes with this play. Depending on where you're at on the field, uh, it all a lot of goes into what we do if we re-blitz. You know, I would say if we're on the goal line, we're probably going to re-blitz Johnson here. And the reason for that is because we're going to bring Ilka down into the, and pretty much drop him almost in a linebacker role because we're going to be pressing anyway on the goal line. And so now we're going to have two yellows, two pur uh, a purple, and then a user defender with us with Nelson. And this is just a very uh, effective way to kind of hold down the run a little bit. And also have a shot at picking off like slants, etc. So another thing we could do is reblitz Ilka. And this is, these are just options, guys. I'm not going to list these in the description. These are just options you could do to kind of have a little bit better run support if you want to. This is for, like like I said, this is for short yardage situ situations. So if, if you know they're running, then you could re-blitz your, your corner and your safety here, bring Nelson over the center, do the little R-trigger R turbo thing, and, and, and kind of go all risk, all reward. And if you miss, it's a touchdown, but you know sometimes you won't. All right, another setup for this defense is the uh, kind of if you're not in the goal line. If you're not in the goal line, then I would just say run the play as is um, and just drop Kirkpatrick into that flat zone. And you just need to know that as a user controller, if if you see if you see Colson go deep here, so we snap or drop, we drop, we see Colson go deep, we just recover. And you see. Uh, it's, it's, it's possible to be done. And this, this play is um, vulnerabilities real quick. I want to discuss that and then we'll get out of here because uh, this is mainly just a play I like to use for those very specific play, but it's very effective. Um, vulnerabilities to this play. The deep post routes are almost always going to be open on this play. The reason for that is because those hook routes are coming from the other from from the linemen and so they're gonna jump like drags and stuff but they're not gonna jump post and uh, the reason I, I say that it is significant 
is the other step that we've been running is giving up the drags. And this is a complement. This is not an every down play. Once again, this is short yardage. But you see those posts are wide open. So I just wanted to illustrate that for you guys. Um, this play, again, will do a decent job against like a halfback dive, uh, especially if they run it inside. They try to come inside. You know, we were there. We just didn't make the tackle, and Darren Sproles is getting loose. But, again, this play does a decent job. Not perfect against everything, but good against a lot. And you have potential to be great against the inside run. Alright guys, so that's all we have for today. Uh, once again, this is a short yardage only play. The setup that I want you to run, uh, I will have two setups, a goal line and then an outside of the goal line setup. And um, tomorrow we're going to discuss a man blitz you can mix in with all of our zones uh, to be a little bit more effective. And then lastly, we're going to have one more video after that discussing... Um, a two-play combo that is very effective uh, for third and long. So thank you for your time today. I hope that this video was beneficial to you. If it was, can you please leave a like rating and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And secondly, if you have any qu uh, questions, comments, suggestions, or problems pertaining to this video, please let me know in the comments section below. Thank you for your time today. I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.